Well, hey everybody, this is Jaren with retipster.com, and in today's video, I want to give an overview of a mailbox solution that I found called the Traveling Mailbox. I wanted to figure out a 100% virtual mailbox solution that was not location dependent. In the future, me and my family have hopes and dreams of traveling quite a bit, and the only real way to do that while still running my land business full time is to use a virtual mailbox. And so I did a lot of research. I I dug deep for you guys and I actually stumbled on Traveling Mailbox and I've been absolutely blown away by their service. So how Traveling Mailbox works at a high level is that when mail comes in, the company on your behalf will open it, scan it, and then upload it to your account so you can see everything in PDF format. What's really nice is when a new piece of mail comes in, I get notified via email. And then within that email, there's actually a screenshot of the front of the envelope. So if it happens to be return mail and it has that yellow sticky note on it, I don't have to worry about any of that. So it's extremely easy to use. I wanna go ahead and dive into the dashboard a little bit of my account and show you around. So this is my traveling mailbox dashboard. As you can see, here's all of my mail. The majority of the mail that comes in are these returned addresses return to sender that were not open. So I don't bother opening those. If I were to give an example, here is a piece of mail that looks like it's worth opening. Just for sake of example, show you what you do in order to open it. So all I have to do is click this blue action button, request action button here, and then I'm gonna select open and scan. And then within about 24 hours or so, they're gonna open and scan it, and it's going to be available for me to view right here, as well as available in a designated Google Drive folder that I've synchronized with my account. And I'll dive into that in more detail here in a minute. So to give an example of what a letter looks like once it's open and scanned, is it looks like this. So it just has a scan of my blind offer template and shows whatever they write. It's very simple, as you can see. So I bet you're wondering what something like this costs. What I love about Traveling Mailbox is its affordability. As you can see here, there's three different plans. This is the tier that I'm on. It's 100 incoming envelopes, 80 page scans, five mailbox recipients, and then free mail shredding. And then there's higher tiers as well. You can go up to 200, 180 page scan, and then there's enterprise which are higher and higher tiers based on your business needs. For my business, this is all I really need. There are some additional fees that I pay for some of the added perks once I use them, but those are all ad hoc. That's not an ongoing fee. It's just here or there I might spend like $2.50 on sending a check in the mail or something to that effect. So it's pretty fantastic. So next I wanna talk about addresses. They actually have an entire tab dedicated to explaining how addresses work. What's really nice, again, is we get a street address where we get our mail sent to. It's not a PO box, which is awesome. So they have several different markets where they have addresses that you can choose from. So how the addresses work is that they assign you a unique number associated with the particular address that you pick. So this is a universal address, this is a universal address, and so on and so forth. But then when you actually sign up, for example, my address looks like this. 501 Riverside Avenue, Suite 700, PMB 92143, Jacksonville, Florida. How I got around making this look a little bit more pretty is I just say suite number 700 comma room number 92143 and it works like a charm. Now going back to my inbox for a minute, I wanna go and show you this particular package. With this particular package, I would select this request action button if I wanted it forwarded. And then I would just simply select the forward button. And then I would then create new address here. And then I would put in my home address or whatever address was most convenient for me. If I was say traveling or what have you, I would list that here and then I would hit create. And then once it was in the system, I would select that address from the drop down, And if I wanted to do express or whatever I wanted to do, I could select those options. The estimated cost is gonna change depending on which option I pick. And then I would say ship this single item, or you could add several items at once. It's pretty awesome. The next feature that I wanna show you is underneath preferences. So if I go over here and I select account and then I select this button preferences, there's several different things that you can do within the preference section. But one of the things I want to highlight to you guys is this options for new mail, this area right here. 
you can actually set your preferences to have everything that comes in automatically open and scanned. And you can then go here to this integrations tab and you can sync it to something like Dropbox or Google Drive and have it automatically sent to a designated folder within one of those file storage softwares. As you can see, there are several different softwares that you can connect with. There's Box, Dropbox, Evernote, Google Drive, OneDrive, and I actually set up a Google Drive folder for myself. So once you link your account, you would just set folder and then whatever you name that folder within Google Drive, you have to actually set it up within Google Drive. But once it's there, you can select any folder that you have created. And then you just select it and then you hit set. It's really that simple. Now the last section that I wanna go over with you guys is this tab here that's called Virtual Office. This is the powerhouse of Traveling Mailbox. Here I can do a lot of things. One of the major benefits that Traveling Mailbox provides us is that if we wanna mail a letter, instead of us having to actually print something out, sign it, fold it, put it in an envelope, address that envelope, put a stamp on it and get it into the mail, all we have to do is have a PDF version saved of our letter and then we can just go here, hit start now, add the file and then go through the process of having it be shipped out. They'll take care of everything for you. They'll print it out, they'll put it in the envelope, stamp it, etc. It's pretty amazing. They do the same thing with checks. If you want to actually have a check sent out from your business account, you just select start now and I already have my business account already synced to my account, but what I have to do is I just have to go here and then wherever I want to send the check, I just have to set that new address. So I would just come here, if it wasn't already in the system, create this new address and then select it from the dropdown, put the memo, put the amount, who it's payable to, and they'll take care of the rest and then I hit request. I could also add a letter to the top of it if I want. And not only can you actually mail out a check using Traveling Mailbox, but you can also receive checks and have them deposit that into your account. I don't know 100% how that works because I haven't actually gone through that process, but I know that they have an entire page dedicated to explaining how this service works. So they say here that once a new envelope arrives and there's a check inside of it, after you're reviewing your scan check, you just simply complete the steps within the online mailbox to issue a check deposit request. Going back to our virtual mailbox, another amazing thing is this shared fax line. This is really awesome because now when people fax in anything to me, it comes into my inbox just like another piece of mail. And this is included in my membership. I don't actually have to pay an extra penny to have faxes come in. It does process as an envelope that came in and something that is open and scanned based on how many I'm allotted per month based on my membership. But it's really awesome because I don't actually have to pay somebody like Ring Central or some other phone service provider a number for a fax line. I have it already here within Traveling Mailbox, which is amazing. And I can actually send out a fax using their services as well. The final thing that I'm going to highlight is something called this scan pack. This is actually a prepaid envelope that they'll send you in case you want them to scan and upload several different loose paper documents, whether it's closing documents, receipts, things for tax returns, instead of you having to go through the hassle of scanning and uploading all of those things, if you want to have virtual files, you can actually just mail it to them and then they'll take care of it for you. It's an amazing service. So I just wanted to give you guys the overview. This is a fantastic tool. I hope that you guys have found this video helpful. For more tips, tricks, and real world guidance on how to crush it as a real estate investor, come and join us over at retipster.com.